review a game you click on start review from quickstart if you want to review a game that's already been played and you have an sgf file then you select open file select file let's say this one yeah let's make it private and here we are we can look at the game uh, let's see if anybody wants to join of course he got he wants to join let's allow so here's the list of observers you can see it's us and Hikaki. So here's a change color button. Right now it's Black's turn to play. But if we click here, then we'll put a white stone on the board. Then it automatically changes to the next player's color. We also have place stone. So if we use this, then we are placing stones of one player. And if we use shift, then we are placing the stones of the other color. Calculate score. <laughs> it just says who it thinks wins. Let's say we select these stones are dead, then black will win. If we select also these, then black will still win. If these, white wins because white has Komi. Place letter. Yeah, we can place a letter wherever we want. If we press some other letters, for example L, and click, it still uh, shows us the next letter. So it doesn't work like, for example, on KGS. Uh, we can place numbers, and also if I press 8, for example, then it still show us 4. We can place a mark, we can place some other mark, like this. And we also have this one, which is fun, because most servers don't have anything else than these three or maybe four. We have tools. As previously said in other video, we can toggle this game open, which means this review will be available for everybody to see. And then we can close this game. So if you want this game to be open for everybody, then we can open it like this. And if you want to close it again, then we select this one again and now this is closed for public cool so we can invite players like this if you put in a player's username and then click ok then the player will get invited if we select as player then it will mean we will give the player control continuing we have the control but if you want other players to have the control we first have to give them player status and then we can give them control. So as you can see, right now I'm not uh, putting any stones on the board, but Hikaki is. Ta -da! We can remove the player status. It will automatically take away the control also, and now we're back in control of the game. We can also kick people out. For example, let's kick Hikaki out. And now the review has ended for Hikaki. We can also give control by using this option and just putting in the name of the player. See? And then Higaki can put the stones on the board. Let's look at how branches look. Unfortunately, in Pandonet it's difficult to see a tree branch because there's none. We can, for example, delete a current node like this and then you can see it's no longer here so you can see there are possible branches like this will be continuing from the game uh, this would be just another move and if we change the color then it will continue the other branch we can for example delete this branch again and there's no way to just put it back here. We can also review games offline. If you just press here, then like this, then let's look at the same game. Here you go. The difference is that no longer anybody else can join because it's just on your computer. Let's see how it looks when we're invited to a private review. See, user Hikaki invites you to join his review. Just join. 
Okay, let's leave and now let's make that review open. So yeah, this review is not private and it looks exactly the same because we don't care if the review is private or not as a person being invited and we're also invited as a player which means that we can be given control 